Basically, that means that electricity can be... Ah, I was just getting to the best part. Dear Tim and Moby, how are electricity and magnetism related? From Inez. Just, just turn it off for now. Electricity and magnetism are really two sides of the same force, the electromagnetic force. Basically, that means that electricity can be converted to magnetism, and vice versa. The connection between the two forces was originally detected in 1820 by a Danish chemist named Hans Ørsted. He observed that a wire with electricity running through it would make a compass needle move, but he had no idea what this finding meant. A decade later, a British scientist named Michael Faraday built on Orsted's work. Faraday correctly hypothesized that when an electric current runs through a wire, it creates a magnetic field around that wire. This discovery led Faraday to believe that the opposite might be true. A magnetic field could create or induce an electric current in a wire. To prove it, he moved a magnet through a coil of wire. Sure enough, an electric current was produced. He also found that the direction of the current changes depending on which way the magnet is moving. And the faster the magnet moves through the coil, the stronger the induced current. Meanwhile, the current running through the wire creates a magnetic field. The ability of magnets to create an electric current, and of electric currents to create magnetic fields, is called electromagnetic induction. The discovery of this relationship is considered one of the most important scientific developments in history. Electromagnetic induction is responsible for the widespread use of electricity in our world today. Generators, machines that convert movement into electricity, use moving magnets to create a current. Electric motors do the opposite, converting electricity into mechanical motion. And transformers use induction to convert the strength of an electric current. That's how the high voltage current from the power station is converted into the lower voltage current that your house uses. Last but not least, just about every electronic technology, from doorbells to airplanes, uses electromagnets, magnets created by electricity. It'd be pretty hard to imagine a world where we didn't use electromagnetic induction. Uh-oh. Dad's going to be really mad if that's still there when he gets home.